is this concept of does autonomous vehicles expand the market? Because we know David Risher has made this a big part of his whole shtick on autonomy that like, oh, yeah, we're losing share in these markets, but like the overall market's going to grow, grow, grow. And I think the evidence that we've seen from Uber in Austin is, yeah, there's some TAM growth, but it's just tourists and it's marginal and it's modest. And at the end of the day, today, the TAM expansion as it, you know, this modest TAM expansion that exists is really not enough to offset the share loss, especially if you're not a partner with the AV player in that market. So the net net is not happening. The richer narrative, I'll, I'll call it in terms of, you know, oh, everyone's just going to ride it is, is, is not happening. That's, that's the bottom line. Those are the facts. That is the data that is being seen, you know, in when, you know, Uber looks at an Austin market versus San Francisco and, and, you know, what the TAM, because they can see the TAM expansion in Austin, obviously, in San Francisco, it's a different story. Does that change over time? Sure. I mean, what are your thoughts on, on TAM from autonomy? The ride sharing traditional sense of a human driver, that market is in long-term secular decline. It's not going to expand the market long-term. 